<laughs> this car sounds great. Sounds powerful as fuck. Though it's not the fastest car in GTA anymore. Mm. It should be. But it is, it is. <laughs> Smooth with <those> XLX. <laughs> I should probably like redesign this whole thing, but at the same time, I also want to save money. <laughs> Don't you wish if you bought something for a car, you just had it unlocked? You didn't have to pay for it again? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. It wouldn't be realistic, but it'd be great. I mean, it'd be like a video game. So. Like how in some video games you can just sort of like switch clothing instantly go have fun with that <gasps> I'll like, let you do this all on your own torched is the shit yo oh it is looking great in here Appreciate it, Mel. Uh oh. Excuse me. Somebody shot my back window out. Who that could have been? That's cool. Oh no. Hmm. To all of my viewer, what do you think I can get viewers. with this? <laughs> the money I'm making from this. I could got, get a business for constant out uh, income. <laughs> the fucking San Andreas out. DMV driving test is so fucking great. They have a driving test? Yes, dude. Listen to this. Question number one. When is it permissible to run a red light? A. Never. It's illegal. B. When there are no police around. C. When you're late for an addition or you woke up after a blackout. Or D. When you are convinced that the minority in the other car is going to murder you for no apparent reason apart from the <laughs> fact they are probably foreign. <laughs> is that the final answer? That's, that's D. Yep, that's the final answer. Uh, that one. Duh. Question number two, the correct driving position is A, seat in an upright position with one hand gripping the steering wheel at six o'clock, B, slumped down below window level with the seat fully reclined smoking a massive fatty for medical purposes, <laughs> C, one hand down your pants, the other sexting with the seat pushed forward so you could steer with your knees. <laughs> or D tearing down the freeway at 100 miles per hour while applying makeup drinking a 40 ounce bean machine gua <laughs> guacachino and updating your life invader status <laughs> oh love GTA I'm gonna go with C, one hand down your pants, the other sexting well, with the seat pushed forward so you can drive with your knees. I mean, that's how everyone does it, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not the only one. Question three, when getting serviced orally by a girl while driving, the correct course of action is A, blast an 80s rock power ballad to get her in the mood, B, 
Look for the potholes to increase her pleasure. C. Take camera phone pics. Or D. Be sure to wrap your seatbelt around her head for safety. <laughs> I think the potholes one. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. How much gin and juice can you safely consume while operating a vehicle? A. All of it. None. Even a small amount of alcohol can impair your driving abilities. B. One to two drinks. C. Who cares? You'll rarely get above five miles per, per hour in the Los Santos anyway. Or D, I'm in recovery, I'm an addict, I have a sobriety chip, I'm the annoying sober person. <laughs> the annoying sober person. Question number five. What is an important safety tip when backing up? A, honk the horn a few times. B, Push back slowly and purr. You like that, don't you? Then pound hard. <laughs> C. Turn up the radio. Or D. Start backing up and ask your passenger. I'm cool, right? Yeah. Uh, I think the um, purr one. Oh, that right. About right. Let's see what the answers come out to be. Oh no, there's even more! There's, oh, there's ten. More. There's ten questions in total. <laughs> Question number six: Who has the right of way when four cars approach a four-way stop? A. I do. No. B. The car with the racist bumper stickers. <laughs> C. The person on your right. Or D. Never stop at a sign. It makes you look like a tourist. Yeah, that one. Okay. Number seven. When stopping to pick up a prostitute, A. Always leave the car running in case shit gets real. B. Mm -hmm. Pick a station that is soft and romantic to set the vibe. <laughs> C. Put your wallet under the seat in case she tries to roll you. Or D. Mm -hmm. All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> Question number eight. You come over a hill and are the first person on scene of an accident. People are hurt. You should. A. Save any hot college girls first as they will be indebted to you sexually. B. Search the area for loose change that discharged when the car just rolled. Oh my god. C. Post some pics on bleeder with hashtags, hashtag this dude is dying. Or D, <laughs> leave the area quickly, let law enforcement sort it out. You don't need the hassle of other human beings suffering. That one. <laughs> Number nine, you are driving outside the city on rural roads and your car breaks down. A, you are fucked. <laughs> B, Tell anyone that stops that you are diseased. C. Start running and don't look back. Or D. All of the above. Can you read the question? You are driving outside the city on rural roads and your car breaks down. Just start running and never look back. And the final question, number 10. When stopped in traffic, A. Use soda bottles to urinate in. <laughs> B. Well, I, I wasn't paying attention. Can you read it again? When stopped in traffic, A. Use soda bottles to urinate in. Seems legit. B. Weave in and out of traffic as much as possible. Oh, that's definitely what I do. C. Send out bleats about how bad traffic is. You are really important. Or D, maintain calm, you will get there eventually, then jump out and murder the person who just cut you off. Yes. Yes. Alright, get results. 
You failed. Either try again or take a cab or the metro. Haha, ha, you have to ride the metro, loser. Seriously, you're a loser. No one no wonder everyone hates you. Uh that is. I feel like he's gonna say that no matter what you do. I, I think so. Alright, let's do some of these missions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next is gun runners. Uh, GTA has so much great shit on the internet browser. It does. Wait, that was on the internet browser? Yeah, if you go to uh, GTA and then the internet icon, and if you can find the Los Santos DMV page, that's an actual thing. You go down and take like the test or whatever. So it burnt my life. Yum. Would you like some molly cobs? Long calls are so much fun. Have your teenager take the following quiz. Start now, or they will probably sell a kidney or be molested. I don't know if I want to. Internet hellhole quiz. Are you in the internet browser stuff? Yeah. A cheerleader at school sends you some very revealing pictures of herself. Do you, one, take a revealing picture of yourself and send it back, two, ignore her and pay attention to your schoolwork, or three, show the picture of, show the picture to your father and invite her over to watch an episode of Republican Space Rangers, the award-winning show on Weasel. <laughs> uh, first one. Duh. That's kind of oh. obvious, isn't it? I would just probably like look up one on the internet. It looks nothing like me. <laughs> Question two: Your science teacher, Miss Lee, asks you to stay after class. She is very attractive and complains that her boyfriend broke up with her two months ago, and she's been very lonely. She says that there are some ways you can earn extra credit for class. Do you one report her to the principal for acting inappropriately, two graciously leave the room, thinking thanking her for her time. Or three, contact the reality show department at CNT and indicate you have a candidate for the hit reality show Hot Teacher High School. Uh, that one. I mean, the first one. Let me help you with this. That guy got on a motorcycle to ride over here and die. <laughs> Alright, get him. <laughs> what the heck? That's a strong weapon case. <laughs> and crackers. But what if I just wanted the cheese? Then you can drop the crackers. Or the crackers without the cheese. Alright, I think um after this after this mission I'm gonna end the video. Uh, Cause this has been going on for at least half an hour now. Let's see what else is in the internet browser. I didn't take a look at that later. Are you down to play some Rocket League later? No. Okay. I don't have Rocket League installed. Okay. <laughs> Fucking baby name generator. Baby name? Hero Winnie. Oh, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Hero Winnie for a girl name. 
It's heroiny. It's basically Hermione, but <laughs> heroin. <laughs> oh god. I almost want to do that. Data plan. <laughs> Headrest. Um. Envelope. Envelope? What? Homeopath. <laughs> <laughs> Beard split. When I'm a dad, I don't want to name my kid Homeopath. Bong tube ripper. <laughs> <laughs> Sashimi <laughs> Spam filter <laughs> Titty Rhino <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god Oh my god Didn't I say this thing is like $250,000? I don't know. <laughs> Let's check on some boy names. Wheatgrass. Donkey the third. <laughs> Admiral Bongo. Rum donkey. Mm. E Effigy. <laughs> Cornhole. <laughs> 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 oh my god. That's pretty great. What else is on this fucking internet browser? Appropriate associates. Give your image a boost by hiring a professional party guest for your next social event. Hey, rank 57. Insurance money! You see that? No, I was depositing cash. Uh oh. Okay. I um jumped in front of a car. It was like speeding down the road. I'm like insurance money. <laughs> Pause it. Pause it out. Four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, five hundred and fifty. Chains of yeah. infinity. Imagine if feminism never happened. Imagine a woman treated like a doormat covered with DNA. Imagine sex where she <laughs> has to go to the hospital. <laughs> oh my god. Chains of Intimacy, the internationally best-selling book series that is a soon-to-be motion picture. Oh my god. <laughs> the series uses every sexual cliche in existence. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the journey of Jane Vixen, a young, innocent religious woman who works at a hobby shop when charming millionaire Lucent Dialgo enters the store to buy supplies for a fleet of remote control devices he is building. Seeing she is intrigued, he offers to show his studio workshop to her after work on the ride in his supple sports car. He talks about all his work feeding poor, crippled children around the globe. When he shows her his workshop, she is aghast. He has hooked dildos up to a precipitating saw. What? A remote control helicopter, what? ceiling what? fan, jackhammer, plunger, toy train, and a tank. Plus, there are areas for whips, chains, knives, golden showers, and scat play. Oh my god. <laughs> The things get hot and rapey at the end of 300 pages of depravity. Debauchery and lavish gifts charged 
to a Fleece of Bank card. Jane breaks up with Lassant and moves back in with her parents. <laughs> uh, there's even more, but let me get in this helicopter so we can fly back. I still don't uh, want to take a look at the internet browser now. <laughs> let me see if I can go back to that site. Hold on. So I, um, I think that's gonna do it for the episode, um, see if I'll make another one later, obviously, later date, probably not, but I'll see you guys next time, oh, well that wasn't recording, uh, let's see, what's next? The plug of intimacy. <laughs> However, things heat up again a year later in the plug of intimacy. <laughs> Jane Vixen is shocked when her mom brings home Diago from a society lunch on he was speaking at. Things quickly spiral into passion as Vixen and her mother become the submissive sex slaves of Diago. I, I don't know if any of that was actually recording until that this point. So I guess we'll keep going from here. Um. Oh god. What'd you say? I don't know if any of um what I was once I said that it was like it's been 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's kept recording. So. Right. I guess I'll do another episode here. The U Bend. U Bend of Intimacy. The U Bend of Intimacy takes things a step further as Diago uses a toilet snake inside Vixen and gives her enemas with drain cleaner until her asshole prolapses. Hot and sizzling from start to Why finish. Why is that a <laughs> God. <laughs> Every woman secretly wants this. That's why they read these books. <laughs> oh. Um, I get that's the Fifty Shades of Grey thing, but come on. <laughs> Seriously. That's, that's too far. Oh, that is the greatest thing ever. These little Easter eggs on the internet browser are so fucking great. Alright, while well, you're doing whatever you're doing, I gotta, I gotta look at, look at all this stuff. Uh, the next one is Jailbreak. Alright, let's go entertainment and media. Let's see. Hijack the prison bus. Kung Fu Rainbow. The Rainbow Laser Force. Supposed to be like Power Rangers. You want free these things? Alright, I'm gonna use the restroom while we fly over there. Alright. Just in time. Alright, I'm back. 
Well, this is a clusterfuck. What? Yeah, Lady, I didn't even shoot at you, and you're running me over. Come on now, get out of here. Fucking Christ. Nope, don't. You died? I got run over by three different pedestrians and then shot as I was escaping the pedestrians. Alright, I can come at her and see if you can pick it up. I'll, uh, I'll head back up there. A cop car just spawned on the racetrack. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Oh yeah, Overwatch got an update. I forgot about that. Alright, it's uh exactly where I am. You see where I am? Yeah, I see where you are. Alright, it's on that on ramp. You wanna go get it? The pile up is right here. I'm gonna see if I can just steal a cop car and drive up to it. Or pit maneuver with a cop car. <laughs> no, you should have hit the adder. It's a lot faster. God and it damn doesn't it, fucking pedestrian. My adder has bulletproof tires. The cop car doesn't. True. Oh, getting sideways. <laughs> that was awesome. Your police car. There's the adder. Of course, I'm gonna have to fight to get into it because of all the fucking police cars. Really? Why aren't you locking on? Just fucking kill them. Alright, let's go. I'm on the way. On the way. the wife tell her I am on the way <laughs> I haven't watched that movie in forever it's from the bad boys movie Thank you. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence Listen, cop, I'd pit maneuver you, but I'm trying to catch up to a bus, okay? So if you can kindly fuck off. <laughs> Could you imagine oh, having an on. MC where all you had to do was start these contracts and you didn't even have to leave? Like your MC just went out and did it? That'd be great. I'm going for a solid two miles an hour, so I'll get there in no time. I can't really push you off up the hill because last time I tried to push you, I went under you. <laughs> that cop was stopping a car. Like, a legit traffic stop. And I just rolled up and fucked him up. <laughs> I've seen you, motherfucker. I think you're slick. You are distracting the cops. They're focused on you, not me. Yeah, I know. Because I'm pit maneuvering them. <laughs> pit maneuvering. Oh. Break check. I think people in movies were that smart. He just pushed the guy that was driving his cop car out and started driving yeah. it. It's because he died. I know, but that's still kind of fucked up, bro. Yeah, they, as soon as their driver dies, they push him out the door and then start driving. Get out of here. Oh, he's going this way now. 